All right, we're here with Daniel from Jackson BJJ. He's fighting December 17th for Innovative Cage Fighting. Daniel, what's, what's your game plan for the fight? Uh, I'm going to try and keep him on his feet. I know he's a ground guy, so uh, try and hit him with a big two. I've heard he's got a soft chin. All right. Michael Mills is your uh, is your opponent, and uh, he's a submission guy. Do you, you prefer to keep it standing? or? Oh, yeah. That, uh, that goes into the game plan, and then at the same time, I saw what he did when him and my brother fought. I'm not impressed with the stand-up. Plan on him coming forwards, hit him with a good punch, and go drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're training at Jackson BJJ now. How has it helped you as a fighter? Uh, it's helped significantly. Uh, surrounded by excellent jiu-jitsu guys, something he's probably never been able to train with to the caliber. Uh, let's just say my ground game's gone up in the past three months from about a one to about an eight on a white belt level. All right, you haven't fought in a while. Do you think you think that's going to affect you in this fight? No, I feel better right now than I have in my first nine fights. So I'm excited. What fight are you most excited to see and why? Easily Joel Cooper by murder. And uh, there's nothing else really to say about that. <laughs> all right. Uh, anybody, anybody you want to thank? Uh, all the fellas at Jackson BJJ, Ashley Wheat for my diet, my roommate Blake Davis for keeping me on my diet, uh, Ryan Collins for, with my jiu-jitsu, keeping, keeping me on point, Anthony Jones with my boxing, my kickboxing, and uh, Joel and Dakari Sanders for kicking my ass for the past eight weeks. All right, Daniel. Thanks and good luck. Deuces.